Hi there. We're back again for a weekend recap. So, how has life been since Thursday? In all honesty, it has been wow. I just noticed that my sense of discipline and abstinence, which is right, the resolution of the year has been going south. <laughs> Your boy went from full celibacy to oh, it's just being at semen retention. You know what I'm saying? As for discipline, it's like, yeah, it's been a bit of a struggle. You know, maintaining a schedule and staying accountable. And I kind of notice what's happening here. You know, I was having a talk with my friend Pila, right? And yeah, we're just talking about deprived, uh, what's this? Self delayed gratification, right? And self deprivation, you know? And how delayed gratification can turn into self deprivation. Especially when you tend to repress things, you know? Because yes, you can abstain. Yes, you can have a sense of discipline, but then it's like, have you struck the root of or the re root behind the reason of your lack of discipline or whatever it is that you're abstaining from, right? Because clearly, yeah, things just came out in such a repressed manner. And I guess within the past week or two, I've been triggered and you know everything, you know. When troubles come, they come plenty, right? So with that being said, I pretty much saw how everything kind of has been unfolding. Especially once I noticed that I didn't hit my mark, you know, and I probably have to be here longer than I had anticipated. But also noticing that deep down inside, I somewhat do want to stay here longer. You feel me? But at the same time, you know, it's... It's this friction between these two sides and repressing what it is that I really want or repressing what it is that I want to do, but that I'm not supposed to do and what it is that I want to do, but that I am supposed to do. You feel me? And I looked at it. I was like, the, the, this repression has been coming out slowly, but surely. Let's just say in the sense of getting a sense, sense of abstinence right or let's just say developing my sense of abstinence i've noticed that instead of listening to music right definitely i haven't listened to any new album don't listen to albums and i don't listen to music on a day-to-day -day on some you know this is gonna hype me up this is gonna pump me but i've noticed that okay shop in gym i'm like okay you know what it's fine let people play music and sometimes i'll have a request but then again not regularly but then again all of a sudden i started listening to live performances and concerts i don't know how this happened but all of a sudden i'm listening to playboy cardi's concerts you know and that was something that was repressed and it kind of just stuck its head out you know and all of a sudden i'm listening to or oh, yesterday i was listening to tory lane's Playboy, or is it Playboy? Something like that. Tory Lane's Playboy. Wow, the irony from Playboy Cardi to Tory Lane's album Playboy, the live performance, you know, which I've heard before. And because of my current situation, <laughs> you know, with the Medis, yeah, definitely it's happening that I'm listening to that. So I'm just there, like, okay, shop, you feel me? yeah the way things are happening it's like it's unfolding and i'm at a point in time where i'm like okay cool it's time to renew my vows it's time to bring you know hop back on the horse you know before we yeah before you know we only just lost for like a quarter you feel me because at the end of the day at least you know i'm cognizant of what's happening Mm -hmm. So aim of the game is to just renew, get back on the horse and obviously readapt it so that I kind of like deal with whatever it is that I'm OK. Obviously, I'm repressing because obviously your boy's about music, boy's about entertainment. You know, obviously, I'm all about the stuff 
that I'm aiming to be disciplined about and abstaining from. But then it's like, I can't just disregard it. You know, it's like, I have to acknowledge it. And I notice that, yo, while I'm acknowledging it, hopefully, instead of repressing it, I can bring it to the forefront and actually change that energy for the better. Which I've been trying to do in all honesty. Like I've I've tried, especially with all the sexual energy that your boy has. Yeah, gym is one thing, but you know. I was like, yeah, this is the feeling of masculinity. You know, when your boy is harder than a mountain. Pardon me for those that ain't trying to hear that. But you know, we're here. And I was like, yeah, this is the feeling of masculinity. But it's like, how does one change this energy into, you know, putting it into work? Like how? Because, right, because of my abstinence, right, I'm sensitive to vibes. So that being said, I'm out here and I'm buzzing. I'm literally buzzing. My attention is all over the show. And I'm like, yeah, obviously I'm not going <laughs> to, yeah, you know, your boy is not going to do what it is in order to get the things done, you know, and then end up being sedated. But I was like, okay, how do we change this energy? Because I've built up a lot of energy, you know, and obviously last week was my deload week, which even makes things worse because I'm not burning as much energy. So with that being said, I thought, and I was like, okay, sharp, yeah. I need to address this a lot more because this buzzed out state, let's just say this, this state in itself is intoxicating, you know? And I've learned to, per se, be patient enough to pass that intoxication state, you know? And then I'm neutral again. But at the same time, it's like, yo, 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 yo. You know, this is one of those C's, right? They say... Skilled sailors are only made through troubled seas or something like that. So with that being said, I'm just there like, okay, cool. I need to find my way around this because there's a lot more to gain. So yeah, basically to come down to it, the best way of actually dealing with this phase of discipline and celibacy is to actually just, you know, I'm actually going to take time off gym at fast, you know, so that at least I can just focus on, you know, cultivating my discipline at a higher level. Yeah, just to get to the next level, because I've noticed with my software developer journey, yeah, things are okay, they're moving, but they're not, yeah, let's just say I need to pull in everything that I've done and really draw a conclusion to this. You know, at least get to 90% of the conclusion, not this 60, 70% that I'm at, or at least a 95 and actually prepare my departure, which my final month being here is June. You feel me? So I'm going to take a break and then I call definitely get back to gym in April, you know, April, May, June, June, I'm out, you know, end of June, I'm out, you know, and then start the second half of the year. In Gauteng or Cape Town, depending, depending, depending on how I sort out my thoughts and find the truth of what it is that I want. So that's about it, you know, just fast, definitely engage in prayer, Def definitely heighten my discipline, mm -hmm. continue with devotion. And it's not like things are bad, you know, I feel like I'm far more disciplined than I was last year, but I can kind of see where things are going. And how New Year's resolutions just become naught. So my aim of the game is to just aim to take things to the next level. It's like within this next month, I'm really packing everything together, right? With this energy that I have to become a better person and to get to the next level. You feel me? To really engage in this freelancing journey. Because I noticed that to a certain degree, I have a certain lack of faith that I need to deal with and address, you know, a certain lack of confidence when it comes to my career as a software developer. So I really need to 
dedicate this time towards not gymming. My body is good. You feel me? I could lose a bit of weight. Your boy has stretch marks. You have stretch marks for days <laughs> because I've been growing. But it's like, you know, let me use this time to actually strengthen my faith, you know, and get my, yeah, get right spiritually, you know, develop a deeper sense of fidelity. And then next month, get back to gym, knowing that, okay, cool, this is who I am. This is a new person that I am. My things are together. So that's about it, eh? This has been a long-winded, wide chat because I could, yeah, could have just talked about things individually. But that's where I'm at in terms of my accountability series. And I guess let's start a whole new playlist called Getting My Life Together in 30 Days. And that's what I'm going to do starting in March. Starting in March. As for now, I'm just going to, between now, the 20th and the 30th, or no, the 20th and the 28th, is just prime myself up for this endeavor thank you for watching